It may be the worst environmental disaster in British Columbia's history. Yesterday morning, 10 million cubic meters of wastewater containing dangerous chemicals poured into local waterways when the earthen dam surrounding a tailings pond collapsed. Here's how it unfolded. The breach happened at the Mount Pauly mine in central British Columbia. Wastewater and sediment poured into Pauly Lake, then moved down Hazeltine Creek into Quenell Lake. Now there are bigger concerns about the contamination moving through the Quenell Caribou water system all the way to the Fraser River. The CBC's Kirk Williams is in the affected area tonight. Kirk. People here are gathering at a community hall tonight with major questions on their mind. The primary one, how did it happen? When it comes to an environmental disaster at a mine, few top this. 10 million cubic meters of water in a tailing pond suddenly broke free, sending tons of mud, sand and debris into a tiny creek, which became a torrent and flowed into Pinnell Lake. At a packed community meeting, the company said it takes full responsibility, but it doesn't know why it happened. People can't drink the water for now. They have to rely on trucked in water or bottled water. Roland Kendall's family has been vacationing here for 18 years. I think we have to have better control. Uh, it, it can't be just uh, let them police themselves. Uh, we have to have people in place to, to watch these people because, uh, let's face it, uh, the world is all about money and profits. The town is hit doubly hard. Not only does the spill threaten tourism, but people depend on the mine for jobs. I was really devastated, actually, thinking that's where I work, that's, that's my job, and now I can't even go back to work. This lodge not only caters yeah, yeah. to people who fly in to fish, but also to people who work in the mine. I think it means the end of our business, because we bring fly fisher people in to fish these lakes and rivers, and, you know, we're known as a pristine, beautiful lakes and rivers, and I, I don't know all what's happened in there, but um, right now we can't take people fishing. People are not only concerned about what's in the water, they're concerned about what's on the water. You can see that there's a lot of debris on the surface, but further upstream are two floating islands of trees and debris, and it's heading towards town that way. The company has hired crews to break up the debris before it hits the bridge. It also says the water in the pond was relatively safe, almost drinkable. No mercury, small amounts of arsenic. Others are not convinced. And I do think when you look at a spill of this size, uh, at least 5 million cubic meters, maybe more, uh, the impacts of a spill of that size will be not only severe, but in all likelihood very long lasting. Water samples were taken yesterday and today, but no word yet on when people can actually drink it. No word yet on when people will be going back to work, but the company says when they do return, the primary focus will be on cleanup. All right, Kirk Williams in likely British Columbia tonight. Thanks, Kirk.